This is Valvenor. It is not a beautiful place, but for the time being, it seems to be unknown to the Deadwalker army. This village has known better days. Before the war, it was popular among the rich hunters who came to enjoy the ample game in the swamps. Today, the only visitors are refugees, who are sadly too numerous for the scant resources of the village. A small healing house provides comfort and succor to the injured. The knight is quite fond of Mirana, the healer who runs the place. Does the mercenary see the building opposite? It was once an inn, but it is now the residence of the steward, the man now in charge of the village. This is a very large inn, considering the size of the village. There must have been many visitors before the war. With any luck, we might get to sleep in a real bed tonight. How come you talk that way? Always in the third person. The way people speak is different from one place to another. But I am from another place. The Knight's people are a warrior tribe from Algon. And he is proud of them. What does the steward want with me? The captain has offered the services of the Freeborn Blades to the steward. The steward must have orders for the mercenary. Shit. I'm gonna get stuck being this guy's errand boy. Damn! I knew I should have gone with the rest of the company. Where can I find the steward? As the knight said, the steward is in the old inn, the big building in the middle of the village. What can you tell me about this backwater town? This village is a modest one, and its reserves are almost gone. Its only strength is its isolation in these swamps, but that is also its greatest weakness. I already figured it was some kind of shithole. That the refugees and the villagers must live together is difficult, and the situation is worsened by there not being enough food. The swamp offers protection against the Deadwalkers, but it also harbors many dangers. Its creatures often attack the village. When the knight and the elf are not there to defend the walls, the watch often leave them unguarded. Shameless. I'm going.
The swamp is our best defense. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily. And each new wave of refugees increases the risk of drawing unwanted attention to this jungle. No Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Especially the defenses around that refugee camp of yours. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to defend our village. Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. And the case of Prince Orondale was completely beyond her skills. And there is this beast story, doubtless another fairy tale, the fruit of an alcohol-addled brain. Nonetheless, several of the watch have gone missing. Something hidden in these swamps is causing these disappearances, but we cannot risk sacrificing any more of the few men remaining to us on sending patrols. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others quite simply do not return. Silence. If I were to listen to everyone, I would need 10 times the number of men I have to verify the truth of every tale. Enough. You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless wailings are unbearable. In the name of... Vulcan? But by the gods, man, what is... This world is condemned. The cold hath invaded its ground, its souls, and its heart. Yet here you stand, weaving your limbs like fish taken from the water, miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath, while I must endure your wailings and lamentations. Pitiful. Vulcan! Stop this nonsense immediately! It is not he who speaks. All the fall to ruin about you, yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomitings. You cannot vanquish your dead walkers, no more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They draw their power from the very heart of the world. They drink it, they suckle it dry. Your only chance to cleanse what your own hath corrupted is to go to the World Heart and liberate it from its servitude. The World Heart is a myth, a forgotten fairy tale, no more real than dragons or dwarves. A myth? Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales. Cease your pretense. I know you have returned to consciousness. What the hell happened? I was just listening to the steward blabbing away with the captain, and then... And then you lost control. I don't know. It's like something in my head zapped me so it could use my mouth. But I was still there, still thinking what I was saying. This is not the first time you have felt this presence manifest itself. No. No, it's been there since the temple. It's also in my dreams. I think... Hmm, interesting. It would seem that your body is host to some other entity. And it is clearly a spirit of fire. No kidding. I got a demon in my head. Something of the kind. In truth, I could not say what it is. Not yet, at least. Don't make me laugh. After all, it's your disciples that let this thing out of its cage, right? That has nothing to do with it. Do you have any idea of the implications of this incident?
If it happens again a couple of days from now, they'll all start spitting and throwing rocks at me. Guess I'll have to watch out. I fear that is the least of your worries. Obviously, you haven't understood. The thing that is inside you, it wishes you ill. There is not enough space inside you for two souls. That demon wants your body. It will control you more and more until it has replaced you completely. Ha! Huh. Thou thinkest I crave the body of a mortal? I am a prisoner here. My place is in the world heart. It will not hesitate to lie to you, to tell you that which you wish to hear, so that you will allow it to consume you. I never asked for this cage. I never asked to be forced to hear my every thought. It is I who have been invaded. It speaks to you? Do not listen to it. Cast it from you. If you do not resist, it will crush your soul. Hey, take it easy. One day at a time, okay? I'm gonna take a walk. <laughs>